Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Motorola Click XT slash Quench. If you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for how to root the Motorola Click XT slash Quench procedure. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to install the drivers for Motorola. So we have two options there. You have the drivers for 32-bit computers and the drivers for 64-bit computers. Click on either one is uh, perfect for you. I have a 64-bit computer, so I'm going to click on that one. And then save that file to your computer. Then you're going to unzip it, uh, and you'll have a folder inside. And inside that, you'll have a program to install the drivers. Double-click it, and it should install the drivers. Now on your phone, go to Menu, Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. It's got that green arrow in it, green check mark. So long as it has that, you can go back to the home screen and continue. Okay, next you need to do our how to set up ADD procedure. Just click on the link we have right there to get started on that. Um, just do it until you can see the device's serial number. So basically just all of section one, not step one, section one, um, Roman numeral one. Once you're done there, you can uh, come back to this procedure. So long as you see your phone serial number pop up at the end of step six, and then we continue. Okay, next you need to download the routing files. So you click on the link here to download those to your computer. Okay, once you have those files, you're gonna right click them, click extract all, and then in here where it asks you where you wanna extract it, we're gonna browse. We're gonna go compute, so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna go to computer, C drive, click okay. So now it's just C in here. And click extract. Once we've done that, we're going to plug in our phone via USB. And make sure that we select charge only for the USB connection. Then we're going to open a command prompt on our computer by clicking on the start menu. And then in a the little search box down here, we're going to type in CMD and hit enter. And that should open a command prompt window. Okay, next we're going to type the following into the command prompt. Uh, you don't have to read what I'm writing here, it is written down in the procedure. I'm just going to type exactly. And see how I'm typing Android SDK slash tools. That's the, where I put the folder uh, for the SDK. And that's what I named it. You should have named it the same if you were doing our ADB procedure. But for you and maybe Android SDK may be the actual name of the SDK folder if you didn't change it. Now that we're in there, devices. Make sure I can see my phone. Yep. Push C slash C colon slash super user. Slash super user dot apk. Okay, and that puts super user apk on our SD card. And then it'd be push, C, C, slash SD card, slash SU. It's going to move SU to the SD card. Push, C, slash, the cage, and then arm by bin. Okay, once we've done that, we're gonna leave the command prompt up just like it is. We're gonna leave the phone plugged in, but we're gonna download something from the market on the phone. Okay, now in the market, we're gonna search for connect bot. It's one word. Connect BOT. Click on it. And then we're gonna install it. Okay, wait for that to install. Okay, once it's installed, you can put on the notification bar and tap on it to open it. Okay, once you open Connect Bot, you're going to click on Local for the drop down. You can just type whatever you want here, but we're going to type Local. Hit Done.
and should automatically open up into a terminal window. Now we're going to type the following into the terminal window uh, in ConnectBot. It's going to be really hard to see here and I'm probably going to type really slow because um, of this little keyboard. So it's easier for you to just read it on the site, but here we go. So we're seeding into the TMP folder. Done. Okay, dot slash. And be careful when you're typing this so you don't mess up. Double check to make sure you typed it in correctly. Rage against the cage. Enter. Can you give it some time, but after a while, you should see Fort 2000, however many, it doesn't really matter about the number, but Fort whatever number, Childs. Once you've done that, it's it's ready to go. If you haven't, if you or if you didn't see that, you need to close the terminal or connect bot and try again. But since we did see that, we're going to menu. We're going to disconnect, and we're going to close out connect box, and then we are going to reopen it. We're going to click on the local server again. And it should give us a little uh, hash symbol, a number symbol. If it didn't, if it still gave you a dollar sign, then you need to start over with the Rage Against the Cage procedure. You'll see uh, where you need to start exactly in our procedure on the uh, website. But if you didn't get that, you can continue. Okay, now we're going to type the following into the connect bot. Again, it's tiny, it's gonna type slow, so you're better off reading it off of the uh, actual site. But here we go. correct and then click enter and it should just give you another line with a uh, number symbol if it did that you're all set now to confirm that you got root access and it worked open your application drawer scroll down okay and you should see the little super user symbol right here, the super user permission file. So long as you have that, you're rooted uh, and you're good to go. So now you can install things like Wi-Fi Tether and etc. Um, if you want to install custom ROMs and custom recovery images and all that fun stuff, then click on the link at the very bottom of our procedure to get to the how to load a custom ROM procedure. And we'll walk you through that step by step.